Uh, I can't hear anything. I can't either. They can hear us? Okay, good, perfect. All right. All right, welcome to Hollywood Action Tuesdays. Uh, I'm here with Ron Coppolis bringing you winners quarters. He versus SD Sandy, a.k.a. Noteca, a.k.a. J. So, welcome. Yeah, this will be a good one for sure. Two characters that we see quite a bit of in SoCal. Snake on T side and SD Sandy with the Mario. So, uh, SoCal is definitely like, Mario is definitely one of our specialties nowadays. We have Master Sandy and Sandy as well. We have a bunch of Pocket Marios too. And then Key, repping Snake as well. You know, we have AC as well. A bunch of Snakes, a bunch of Marios. That one guy. Just, Just a lot of people all guy. over. Right now, he with the lead, you know, having, you know, being, being a deficit versus Snake, definitely one of the most frustrating things in the game, for sure. But Mario, you know, definitely doesn't have it as bad as some other characters. Uh, he can rack up damage, like, in the blink of an eye. But he right now, not letting get anything started. Falling down with the back air, and SD Sandy attempting to chase him up high, but... He holding that cipher to the last possible moment. Except for the up smash, still at the leg. And it definitely is one of the best ledge trap games. Air dodges away from the up smash. How's Sandy gonna be able to take this stock? He needs to be able to take it as soon as he can before he loses that one. And now he's down three to one. Jumps right into the up tilt and Key with a commanding lead right now. Has to continue to keep up this pressure. SD Sandy needs to take the stock yesterday. Yeah. He's still playing patient. Realizes that he does not want to lose the lead, um, like or like the hefty lead, because once you take the stock, you know it gets a little bit uh, easier. Yeah, of course, Snake, a character who can trade all day and accept all those trades at the drop of a hat. That up smash didn't even kill. Remotely close to killing. Wow. That back air, right that, that barely did it. Sandy gonna take that first stock coming from Key. Let's see if he's, if he's gonna be able to get anything started. Ooh, tried to grab the landing nade, but. That is usually the strat um, against uh, Snake. You see him go for the landing nade at a disadvantage. You go for the grab. They recognize, they spot dodge, and they punish you. But right now, Sandy tried to end that stock with a forward air, but didn't quite get, like, didn't, wasn't at the right percent for the up air, up air fair to connect. And he goes for Etzel 1, that up smash at the ledge. Not going to deter SD Sandy. That trade will pop him up, sending him to 145, Ooh. well within up tilt range. Ooh, Naren's up smash? All right. Back through him into the grenade. Couldn't get anything off of it, but... Ooh, nice grab. Went for the immediate uh, down throw, F tilt. I believe that is guaranteed at that percent, if I'm not mistaken. It does true combo a little bit earlier than down throw, up tilt does. Mm -hmm. So that could have been true. Uh, if not, then Sandy just didn't press a button, and that was a read coming out from Key. But I know MVD uh, informed me at a tournament one time that down throw, F tilt is true at, a, at like slightly lower percent, slightly lower percent than down throw, up tilt and it can kill as well. Right, and that's an excellent calculation from Key on the fly, knowing that it would kill at center stage on a midweight such as Mario. Mm -hmm. You don't see that every day. You often like to see people go for up throw or back throw just to keep the throw right. stale. But Key knowing his percents. Getting into this second game, we got Key up 1-0, returning to Pokemon Stadium 2. This is definitely a good stage for both of these characters. Mario, no stranger to comboing the hell out of you on with the platforms, killing you at ridiculously low percents. And in Snake, the platform placement lets him place grenades, C4s, just at, at more threatening positions, and it limits your movement and limits your approach versus him. Right, you get thrown off stage once, you get F tilted off stage, and Snake will set up the whole kitchen sink and throw it at you at once. Exactly. And right now, pretty much even threw him into the C4, guaranteed. Kind of with that F tilt once again. Key is just, he's stuffing out Sandy's approaches and he's using the grenades to limit the way Sandy uh, goes. Wow, okay, hold on. Okay, all right. I don't, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Not quite sure what that up special was. That was most likely a misinput on SD Sandy's That grenade part. ruined everything. He could have got up air, up air fair there, but the grenade catch forced him to not be able to do an aerial. Went for the double grenade into forward air once again, but didn't get it. Time the grenades properly. Right now, Key has once again big lead in this match. Oh, this could be the stock. No. Snake's a little too heavy. Grenade's going to interrupt that down air. I see Sandy still with stage control, but that grenade might interrupt it. Rolled right around the up smash. No way. <laughs> up smash clanking with F tilt and then the grenade. 
tried to roll away from the grenade, but got up tilted and once again landing on top of the up tilt. Uh, Key once again in a similar position that he was in. He was game one. Yeah, that's the second time this set SD Sandy has rolled outward directly into Key's up tilt. Has to vary it up at some point. Wow! Once again with the grab. Tried to get the fair off the grenades. He's mistimed that every single time. But, you know, he's going for it. Why not? He is just not letting Sandy breathe even up there. Knows that his grenade grenades are going to protect his landing either below the platform or right to the side. A little bit of a combination of Key playing extremely well and Sandy just being a little bit unfamiliar with how to, how to deal with Snake. Just deal with Snake in general. Almost got hit by the up tilt. Actually does reach on top of that platform. Tried to shield grab the up tilt, but it pushes him back too far. Yeah, and at 115 with all this rage, up tilt was absolutely going to kill there. Oh, yeah. Wow, this pressure from Key. Not going to take the stock, but let's see if Sandy's going to be able to convert. Backs off. Caught in a bit of end lag with the Nikita, but Key's still going to make it back to center stage. Watch, just runs off, runs to him, and back throws him. Oof, the grenade's going <gasps> to... The grenade to the Cypher reverses the positions. Rolls have reversed. Now Key's in the driver's seat. Well, Key's been in the driver's seat, but in this specific situation, Key was off stage. Tried to read the neutral getup, but Key mindful enough to get up attack, powering through the up smash. Goes forward with a fair, but Key will low profile under that dash attack. Not going to connect, neither will the pivot grab. That's going to take the stock here. All right, Sandy, let's see. Maybe he, he'll pull some magic. Immediately into the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Key going to be taking that 2-0 uh, over Sandy with a very dominant performance. Yeah, JV3 to end that second game. You could tell Key had that one right from the very start. All that grenade pressure, every bit of offstage interaction. Sandy just didn't know how to deal with the matchup. Right, yeah, it, it was very evident. Um, respected the grenades a little bit too much. Didn't know how to get off the ledge. Mm -hmm. uh, just in general, didn't know how to hold Snake. And disadvantage, he fell for like the... the, op, like the Grenade pull, spot dodge when you hit the ground into reversal. Just got reversaled a lot the entire set. Yep. Every single reversal key got was off Sandy, like going for an immediate uh, either grab, immediate like up air on the grenade, etc. Just wasn't familiar in, in the situations. Grenade light. Or